very very solid point right to make right um that the internet has to be held more responsible right people on the internet need to be held more responsible for the things that they say which inevitably lead to some of your most well-known people that you know on the internet kind of acting out you kind of can see the same thing happening with the whole Cardi B and Nicki Minaj situation, right? Um, both fan bases perpetuated this like um, beef that was maybe legit in the beginning, maybe not legit in the beginning, but then turned legit. Then through just like proxy of their own camps talking to each other and kind of hating each other, both camps kind of built up animosity and a real kind of beef emerged, right? So you're seeing kind of the negative sides of, as of aspects of, of Instagram. And also you're seeing the size of it with Cardi B in terms of like, you know, everyone kind of loves her for being ratchet and kind of promotes the idea that she's real and she's ghetto and all this sort of malarkey but then when she acts out they get surprised and they get kind of a bit off put that she would kind of go and lunge at Nicki Minaj during a fashion week show right so it's the it's the it's the idea that you know in one part the crowd is demanding you to be real to keep it authentic but in the moment you keep it too authentic they're all kind of like shocked and surprised right it's a kind of quote-unquote the idea of everyone celebrating a gun-toting rapper but in the moment he shoots everyone everyone's sort of like oh this guy's an animal um but I do get, I do understand, I do kind of get a feeling that also, you know, this whole Spotify licensing deal that they're doing with independent artists, right? I think another part of this that is something that needs to be looked at in terms of uh, a, uh, artist, um, artist development um, with an artist on a label or a license agreement on a streaming platform, there needs to be some fiscal per, um, responsibility on the stream platform side to have someone in-house right forget marketing because everyone can do that everyone can do social media calendars everyone can try and create a bit of viral content marketing right um to get some growth acquire some new listeners whatever it may be right everyone knows the tricks right those, those are things that you can do quite easily by just analyzing the game and kind of having your po your finger on the pulse of culture but i think a, a role that's kind of overlooked that i think a lot of kids should kind of get involved in and again for everyone that's all out there and wants to be the guy in front of the camera the guy or girl singing in front of the camera stop relax and maybe you could be of use behind the camera right i think a role that was something that could really be used is someone to provide artists with guidance and support to navigate throughout this social media landscape that we're in now especially if you have 25 20, especially if you're under 25 right like russ is right he's kind of like a bit of an old soul and maybe because he's been grinding it out on soundcloud before soundcloud was a thing that people were looking for to find new artists right he was sort of like there just when it was kind of popping off and had to kind of really hustle to get his name out there which has kind of led him to have maybe more life experiences and to kind of get you know when you have some when you have no when when you when you've been told no a lot that's what you sound like you sound like russ you've so been told no he's been not given a chance and you've had to prove people wrong and again and again you build up this little kind of like not resentment but you kind of don't get certain people you kind of don't get it right you don't get how certain people can be like but i think there needs to be a division within a streaming platform within a record label that helps artists and supports them emotionally to navigate through these social media waters because it's a really interesting time that we're living in where you're able to interact with your fans directly i'm able to i'm able to clarify imagine if i was someone popular right and uh, some and a newspaper did a hit piece on me right they kind of said something about me that wasn't necessarily true or they kind of did an interview about me trying to praise me but then in the end when it came out it was a disparaging piece that aimed to kind of like tear me down i can immediately within seconds of reading or of minutes of reading that um article post a statement up on, on on twitter to all my fans that like me and follow me to all my even detractors people that don't really care or non just want to follow the show and let them know what the actual deal is Right, I can clarify things very, very quickly. I can upload new music. I can let you know um, updates on my tour, updates on my personal life. You, we can share. We can interact. Right, I'm a big artist guy. We can, we can, we can interact. But this other part of it, which is not that great, is that you hear everything. Right, you hear everything. It's paramount to. It's this idea that you know when people say, "Oh, I wish I had a superpower." Um, listen to people's actual what they thoughts in their head. But some people say, no, you actually wouldn't want to listen to it because it might be quite overwhelming, right? It's all like when, um, what was that story I remember reading about people who work in call centers are the most depressed, right? Because they're having to, they're having to interact with some of the worst um, segments of society. And also you're, you're talking to people who have a, an ax to grind consistently, who kind of hate your guts, right? Sort of like the kind of like traffic warden, um, sorry, um, ticket uh what are they called the people that put tickets in your cars those kind of dudes right imagine the kind of um psychological turmoil you must go through every single day knowing that people just hate you based on your uniform based on the hat you wear right it might be the same with police officers right where you're just constantly getting this hate 
So there has to be a division within record labels can, that can deal with that and guide artists through that those navigating waters of understanding that, you know, the kind of Drake method of like 72 hours, wait until if, one's, if someone's outraged by something you said on an interview, wait 72 hours. Yeah, outrage is still there, then address it, but most of but usually it dies after 72 hours, right? Um, how to navigate uh, hate on, the, on Twitter, how to maybe post and dump, like, you know, post something on social media, dump it for the day and then re, uh, what do you call it? Um, reply or look over your mentions the next, the following day. So you don't get reactive and you have a bit of distance with the content like loads of little emotional kind of like quote unquote um things that can help artists um be whole inside because the outside world the social media world is a bit vapid and also some of the things that come at you are whoa incredibly incredibly vile so i really feel um russ's point on that regard and i'm i'm, I'm ho again i'm hoping nowadays there would be because i'm sure there's record there's people in within record labels who just handle instagram which instagram is a new platform so they kind of build a job around the things that are happening within the culture right so they, i'm hoping there's a kind of there's a thing that exists in record labels where they hire somebody who's an emotional support system who can help people not a manager not those kind of people like someone that can actually be there and kind of manage you through the struggle who can kind of sit down with you and present you a, a way to kind of like uh, overcome this struggle to kind of maybe change the narrative of how you're perceived on the internet or to maybe lean into it a little bit more those kind of things would be super interesting but i definitely recommend you check it out russ interview on the breakfast club i'll link it in the show notes you guys can check it but it's a very very interesting interview and it'll hopefully give you another um it'll probably hopefully expose another side to you of russ